So today I'm going to be looking at this EDV camera lens protector for the iPhone 12 Pro. Um, this particular camera lens protector should be for the triple camera setup that this iPhone 12 has and it's supposed to be compatible with cases. So I've got here quite a strong durable case. This is the Poetic Spartan case for the iPhone 12 Pro and um, I'm going to see if it fits in this gap here which is this kind of raised area for the lenses and um, see if it affects the camera quality at all. So I'm going to take out this uh, packaging and see what we've got inside. So it says that it's a three pack so let's see what it looks like. So we have some advertising and then some instructions. So we have the wipes and we have the actual lens protectors themselves, of which we have three. So if I screw this up three times, I've got three chances to do this. So I'm assuming that this will be like a piece of clear plastic which covers the three lenses, the LiDAR sensor, sorry the flash, and the LiDAR sensor is just going to go through this gap there. And it's got, I'm not actually sure what that is, but I'm sure we're going to be fine. And I've got the guide stickers here as well. And Conspicuously, we have no specific instructions, but um, let's give this a go. So we've got um, some wipes here. This is pretty standard. We've got guide stickers as well. And uh, we've got a bit of a microfiber cloth. And uh, so I think this does not really require a guide sticker. Um, this, what we might. So the lens protector itself comes on this kind of plastic film, and it's quite strong and structured. And there's this kind of opaque look to it around the lenses, and there's gaps for the three camera lenses, the LED flash, and the LiDAR sensor. And um, as you can see, it's quite thick as well. So you can see it offers quite a lot of protection. It looks like maybe one and a half or two millimeters thickness. And um, all we have to do is peel this and then install it into the phone. So I've done this already. And I did this when the case was on. And I all I did was peel the back and then um, place it on top of the lenses and it can only fit one way. So you can see it's quite a nice fit. Um, I think most cases have a cutout like this and it'll just slot straight on. And um, I really think that camera lens protectors are a really good idea on phones, especially expensive one like these. Um, if you ever have the habit of putting your phone down on a surface, um, if there's anything sharp or um, hard, might damage the lens, right? If it lands directly on uh, one of the lenses, the lens glass will shatter. So this is just an extra level of protection. If you ever find yourself dropping your phone a lot, like I do, I like using these massive heavy duty cases. And most of those have this cutout to help preserve image quality when you're taking photographs. And so this um, does offer more protection and it's completely transparent for the lenses. Let's just do a little test for the camera. And um, I can see that there isn't really much change in the, the image quality. I can't really test um, at the moment, but uh, it's it looks really good. It looks no different from before the lens protector was put on. And um, overall, I'm quite impressed with this uh, particular product.
So as you can see, this lens protector doesn't really affect the camera quality, but some people might be concerned because they're in the iPhone 12 Pro, there's a new LiDAR sensor, and this allows new special features which allow a kind of depth perception. So I'm just gonna show that in this, um, in this app and how it's not really affected. So here I'm just gonna demonstrate that the LiDAR sensor isn't really affected by this lens protector. So I'm just gonna try recording using this um, LiDAR app. I'm just gonna record this um, coffee table I have in my living room. If we kind of go around it, it's using the, the LiDAR sensor to scan and uh, create this kind of 3D image of this uh, object and also the, the things in my living room as well. And if I um, stop this now, you can see that I kind of pan around with this 3D generated image. And this is only really possible because the LiDAR sensor is still working. So anyway, if you found this video useful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tech video.